Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Friday, January 13th. If you're an individual affected by a layoff, or if you're a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible, or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. As the leading boutique provider of outplacement services in the United States, Employment Boost is uniquely positioned to help individuals land on their feet and find a new job quickly and effectively after a corporate layoff. Now, on to today's headlines. The Dow Jones is laying off a number of employees with an uncertain number of personnel to be affected. However, the layoffs do appear to be global, and it also appears that no cuts have been made to the Wall Street Journal News Department, at least in this round. The long-discussed layoffs at Amazon have officially begun with more than 18,000 employees infected and close to 1,000 of those in the India region per India Today. Per CEO Andy Jassy, the impacted employees will be contacted after January 18th, though apparently a number have already started their job searches. Per the Des Moines Register, Wells Fargo is laying off hundreds of employees, specifically in the Des Moines metro area and in the home lending business, as rising interest rates have cratered the mortgage market. Finally, DirecTV plans to lay off around 10% of its management staff by next Friday, January 20th. More and more customers are shifting from traditional TV to streaming services, and older TV companies, such as DirecTV, are feeling the blow. Streaming services are doing well, the competition is rising, and it seems like streaming may have brought a return to cable just in a different format, so we might be seeing uh, streaming services uh, hit layoffs later this year as well um, as competition continues to rise there.